Odie Loke Sports Info here, back with another vid for you guys. Yeah, y'all, hit that subscribe, like, bell icon so y'all can be notified of this real because y'all know Odie Loke keeps it real. Yeah, y'all, so the fight between Terrence Bud Crawford and Manny Pacquiao is off, right? The guys from Abu Dhabi, um, from the Middle East, they didn't show proof of the funds, right? And the fight is off. But... The cult members, they are already pushing a narrative, right, against Terrence Bud Crawford. It's Terrence Bud Crawford's fault that the investment company who was supposed to fund the fight didn't show proof of funds, right? Because they saying now, um, Manny Pacquiao team comes out and they say that they signed, you know, they part of the contract, but Terrence Bud Crawford, he didn't sign his part of the contract, right? So Manny Pacquiao, he signed his part, but Terrence Bud Crawford, he didn't sign his part. And y'all already know what they trying to, you know, say, say when they saying that, right? They trying to basically say that Terrence Bud Crawford, he was scared of Manny Pacquiao. He didn't want to fight Manny Pacquiao, right? Terrence Bud Crawford, he's running from a 42-year-old Manny Pacquiao, right? Anything just to just, man, these guys are... Straight lunatics, man. For real. Because it's anything, it's any and everything just to try to shit on Terrence Bud Crawford. Right? Terrence Bud Crawford, he wasn't funding the damn fight. He was going to be a fighter in the fight. The investment company didn't show proof of funds. So the fight is off. So there's no need for me to sign anything. Right? Why would I sign something and y'all haven't shown me the money? Right? No money has been put in escrow, nothing. But y'all expect me to sign something? No, I'm not signing nothing until I see the money. Right? And I'm pretty sure that Bob Arum advised him to do that. Probably like, hey, bro, don't sign nothing until we see money. Terrence, 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 don't sign nothing until we see money. You feel what I'm saying? Until we see proof of funds, then we can sign something. But other than that, what? Y'all didn't show the money, no fight. We going somewhere else. And I'm pretty sure that Terrence Bud Crawford, he's going to take on Sean Porter now. I'm pretty sure that he's going to go after Sean Porter now. Right, because the Manny Pacquiao fight is off, and I'm pretty sure that he's going to go after Sean Porter. Right, I'm I'm pretty sure that he's going to convince Bob Arum to overpay Sean Porter, right, so he can knock him out in spectacular fashion, right? Do something that Kell Brook can do. Do something that Keith Thurman can do. And he's going to do something that Earl Spence Jr. couldn't do. Right? He's going to knock out Sean Porter. So, yeah, Bob, overpay him a little bit. You know, like give him a million, two million dollars, overpay him. And I'm going to knock him out in spectacular fashion. I'm going to do something that none of these, you know, so-called top welterweights have done. I'm going to knock him out. Right. I'm not going to show no mercy on Sean Porter because he's been, you know, he's been talking his little, you know, his little side trash. Right. Flexing and, you know, talking his little trash. OK, I'm going to knock you out in spectacular fashion and let's see the narrative get moved in. Right. A guy that's coming from 135 came all the way up to 147 and I'm going to do something that your favorite fighter can't do. I'm going to knock out Sean Porter. I'm not going to show no mercy on you, Sean. This is why Sean is want to get overpaid. This is what y'all don't understand. This is why Sean Porter want to get overpaid because he know. Once he touched Terrence Boyd Crawford, he's going to forget about that friend shit. He's going to forget about that. And he's going to go in for the kill. And Sean Porter know he's going to be in trouble after that. So I got to get paid to take this ass whooping, for real. But yeah, y'all, the cult members, they already pushing the narrative on Terrence Bud Crawford. It's Crawford's fault that the investment company, you know, didn't have the money now. 